So, that angel, is she really that different from that Artina girl? She is completely different. She was a nurse who would treat anyone, even those who couldn't pay for the treatment. To pay for her patient's medicine, she starved herself and lived a poor life. Her soul was nothing but purity. She scrambled across battlefields to treat wounded soldiers, whether they were allies or enemies. Even when she felt isolated because of the indiscriminate care she provided, she stuck strong to her beliefs. Treating the wounded, no matter which side they're on. I know of some humans who still believe in that kind of stuff. Does that have anything to do with how she died? Oh, Desko isn't good with those kinds of stories. Desko doesn't know if she wants to hear the rest of the story or not. There they are! The bounty hunt! You trying to interrupt us again? Damn it! Desco isn't good with them, but she still wanted to hear the love story, damn it! My, my, this story is getting wrought with tension. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is actually a... <laughs> this level is supposed to be way harder than... Uh, yeah, mighty enemy, that means they're invincible. Turbo times three, so their stats are three times stronger, and they level up 10% of their level every turn. So, um, won't be having that. So, I'm just gonna get over there like in a single turn and get rid of that block uh the only thing is i haven't decided which uh class i'm going to review for this installment yet Let me handle this. i mean uh, the episode's kind of short so i have to do something really quick okay okay uh well we got archers there or the moth mothmen let's do mothmen that's a, that's a really old class i haven't run into yet Okay, let's see. Bugs, bugs. Put in bugs. Here we go. Uh, the Winged Warrior. Alright. Uh, winged Warriors are fast-moving monsters that act a bit like ninja. They're hard to kill and are perfect for clearing item world levels at high speed. Try to include at least one of these monsters in your party. They're more survivable than two other mobile uh, character classes that are often used for the same role. Rogues and Masked Heroes. Uh, direct attack is not this class strength. Their magic change attacks are fun, but their direct attacks are more for inflicting ailments on your enemies. This. this isn't something that gets too much use unless you're a patient player who holds back the remainder of the team and tries to kill off vulnerable enemies. Uh, the moth magic changes into a gun, as you've seen. Um, Do my best. It's got a good movement, natural movement of 6. Um, its fire resistance is 25. Negative twenty, uh, negative fifty percent to wind and twenty-five to ice. Uh, and it can actually attack from two panels away, naturally. So yeah, now that that panel's off, yeah, I can just barely reach that. Oh, there it goes. Now I just have to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, the red block that's causing the minor enemy status, and then, uh, and this level ain't so tough. To me. I mean, it would have been a lot tougher if I let those Basiles level up. Uh, rifle demons. Tough shit. Let's see, uh, we got the Mothman. Its aptitudes are HP 80, SP 100, Attack 100, Defense 70, Intelligence 100, Resistance 100, Hit 120 and speed 120. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not a damage class, not in the slightest. Uh, their HP is always abysmal. Uh, the nice thing is, if you're in the item world, they're one of those enemies that are really easy to defeat, so your relatively weaker enemies can get some experience that way. But after Mothman, we got the Messenger, the Watcher, the Observer, the Spy, and the Unknown. But 
Shoot! We know they're bugs. Woo! Get him! Okay, uh... Unknown aptitudes, HP 90, only 10 better. SP 125, attack 125, defense 80, intelligence 125, resistance 125, hit 145, and speed 145. Let's see, their moves... Um... Let's see. Uh, they can learn stun, which uh, lowers your speed. Uh... And I think, let's see, yeah, their ability is Flicker Wing, which um, gives the character a 50% chance to evade close range attacks. Utterly annoying. Even if you're from behind, you still only have a 50% chance, so that's far superior to the ninja. Now, match a change uh, Winged Warrior onto a ninja, and wow, you have one evasive class. Uh, next ev ability is Hypnosis Wave, 50% chance to add sleep effect to normal attacks from the character. Uh, kind of useful, actually, because you can attack from uh, two spaces away to avoid counterattacks from certain enemies. And uh, sleep makes them entirely immobile until you attack them again. So, uh, very useful against dangerous opponents. Then we have Star-Crossed Fate, increases ailment success rate by 30%. Uh, couple that with Hypnosis Wave, and you'll have an 80% chance of increasing sleep, of doing sleep. That's very nice. And finally, Evade Danger. Nullifies damage from bombs. Worthless. Okay, we, for moves, we've got Hell's Cocoon. It can hit three tiles away, can cause sleep. Power is F. Then we got Sonic Wave. Power is E. It can do Paralysis. And I think it hits three enemies right in front of you, and it knocks you back. Uh, we got Goodbye Sunset, which is kind of funny. Uh, range is three tiles, hits a single person. And, um, power is C. That one's kind of funny. You, you just drag the character into the sunset. And finally, Mothman Coaster. A pretty neat attack, actually. Power is B. It can cause sleep. Um, and it's a fixed area of effect. Oh, Goodbye Sunset could cause forget. Which I forgot to mention. How ironic. Oh, I just love that face of sheer agony on that Paciel. All right, then for um, uh, magic change moves, we have Moth Barrage. That's that really neat attack where they're just like spiraling in the air, and you saw those little moth pellets come out. It's kind of gross, actually. Um, powers F, so it's weak. It can hit three spaces away and cause sleep. And finally, there's Poison Moth. Um, powers S. It can, it ranges seven tiles and can cause poison, naturally. That's insane range and good, and surprisingly good power. It was a weird, I, I've seen it actually, it's a weird move. Um, but basically the only reason you'd re you would want to make this class is because, um, they're fantastic in the item world. They have naturally high movement. Give them three pairs of shoes, and without they'll have a movement of nine. And uh, they count as a flying enemy, so they move right through enemy units. You can't get blocked off. Um, the only downside, as opposed to a mask hero, is that mask heroes can use fists, and fists can move um, enemies, so you can knock um, enemies off gates, which you can't lift. So, um, just one Mothman is not enough for the item world. You really need, um, either a caster that can snipe the gatekeeper, or you need a fist user that can knock him off his perch. And then the Mothman can just mosey right on in. Uh, pretty simple. Eventually you can find shoes, and a Mothman's movement can easily be above 20. It's insane. Two canine fists! That move is invaluable on Fenric. And like I said, it was a short and easy chapter. One more until the, uh... Until the end of the chapter. Alrighty then, now that they're all dead... Okay, tell us the rest of the story. So did Artina die because she was trying to save an enemy? Naturally. One of the enemy's key personnel was among her patients. 
because of that. She was suspected of being a spy and was killed by agents of her own nation. Ah, you should have killed everyone who was responsible for letting that happen! Well, of course. That's exactly what I thought at the time. When I arrived on the scene, she was already taking her last breath. When I realized that it was too late for me to scare her, I decided that I had to kill all the humans to appease my anger. But she... Please, reconsider. I... I don't want revenge. Revenge will only create more hatred and another war. I was only following my beliefs and did as I saw fit. I have no regrets. Make no mistake. It's not revenge I'm after. I will be forbidden from drinking human blood if you die. This is retaliation. Th then take my blood. I don't have much of it left anyway. That's absurd. I couldn't possibly drink your blood until I've kept my promise. I made a promise to you. Until I show you the depths of fear, I will not drink any human's blood. And I said I was going to watch over you so that this wouldn't happen, but... <laughs> You're pretty earnest, aren't you, Mr. Weirdo? Your loud mouth is proof enough that you'll be fine. Live, and I will plant fear in that incredulous skull of yours. Oh, no... I don't think I'll make it. I'm sorry. I've caused so much trouble for you with that stupid promise. My only regret is not being able to let you drink my blood. Hey, don't die! I won't allow you to die without letting me keep my promise! I thought your obsession for promises was weird. Especially since you're a demon. I, I didn't know that was the reason. It must have been so hard for you, Valsy. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> poor Miss Artina and Mr. Valvatoras. Troubling our lord even after her death. She's nothing but a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs>